nice thing about the artwork here in Kompeta is that uh, the village itself is, is beautiful and it has a big history with Moorish culture, architecture. Um, since it started uh, as an art walk along the, the workshops and studios of artists, um, people had to do the walk through the, the village to find the different uh, studios. And that's also the charm of, of this art walk because um, you discover new places. This time we have 18 locations and people are walking around with the map to, to find all the locations and, and all the artists. This time uh, the artwork has 28 participants plus uh, the chorus of Adolfo uh, Cordoba. We have around uh, eight different nationalities this time who are participating. So that's also the nice thing, it's really an international event. Not only because the participants uh, are from different nationalities, but also because the visitors who are coming here are from, from Scandinavian countries, Denmark, Germany, Holland, Belgium, uh, UK and Spain of course as well. So uh, even Canadian, Americans, we, we had many different visitors already and they are coming yeah, from quite far away. Some sometimes they sit for two hours in the, auto, in the car to come to this village. I, I'm, I'm very happy to be here. I came all the way from Holland with my little van. Dig, 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 dig. I stayed here for two weeks and then go back just uh, to, to, to enjoy the art walk here. I always make things by myself alone, so uh, I have to think about how to carry it, so uh, the pieces are not so heavy by themselves. So, uh, that's the way I work. I have a table here uh, and I put um, ink on it. So and then I uh, lay down the paper. That's a paper. And uh, by, by uh, the, the people, I've got two people sitting here. One there and one there. And then I put a ball here in the middle. And by moving, by moving the table, they can let the ball roll. The technique is not very, uh, it's called the monotype technique, so they use the graphic, so that's not very new, but the idea to do it in the installation and that you do it together and, and ask people to communicate really well with each other, I think it's a good item in this, this world uh, when everybody's on a mobile phone, <laughs> so and on computers to really to com communicate to each other. Oh, you make a portrait for me with the hair everywhere. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's all. Because we have different languages. Yeah, but it's also yeah. about community language. Nine years ago, Wayne had the idea to start with an art walk, an art route uh, in Kompeta, in the village, because he saw there were many creative people and artists and craftsmen, and he thought it would be nice to open the doors of the studios and, and the workshop to show the people um, what activity there is in this village. Uh, he organized it five times, it was hard times as well, he said to me. Uh, because it's, it's difficult to get the group together and to get them all involved and, and um, to get their energy positive to, to make something nice of it. But he did it five times and it, it grew bigger and bigger. But then after five years he was looking for somebody else who could take over the job. And unfortunately there was nobody who could or wanted to do it because it's, it's a huge task and with, uh, with, with which requires a lot of uh, time and investment. This year we are, uh, it's the eighth time, so it's five times by Wayne and three times by me organized. This is the first time I'm participating and uh, I, I really enjoy uh, being here. Had the, had the idea to make a, a total big wall full of post-its, uh, the small uh, yellow papers, and then I thought, well, I want to do something with the visitors because I like the interaction. So I thought, well, maybe the visitors like to, to see me working, but also want to use my materials and 
look at me and do, do their own things but with my materials. Uh, they make time to sit down and to talk with me and to draw with me, so uh, I like it very much, yeah. Yannick uh, klein Hasselink is a, a singer and actress and she's a Dutch girl, woman, who came from Holland to here and she lives here now half a year. So she said, shall I, shall I uh, have a look if I can find my colleagues uh, to play during the days? So, in fact, we combined many talents this event and uh, I've seen it, it's, it's a success. People really like it to, to have a look at the art and to have a lunch at the plaza and to hear the music. We're gonna make some music for you this afternoon. So uh, I hope you enjoy, enjoy the sun, enjoy your lunch and our music, of course. I think it's a nice addition to the art and the artists who are here already to combine art and music together. I think people like it and it's uh, there are a lot of people here. For me as a musician, the, yeah, the best is to see people enjoying the music I make or the singing I do. Uh, that's what, what gives me the most satisfaction in, in making music or uh, singing or being on stage anyway. It's amazing. I mean, it's really wonderful to see that so many people are turning up. It's the biggest event that has ever been, uh, I mean, all the eight years, it's the biggest event and people are coming from very far away, so it's nice. You can feel that it's people interested in art because they have many questions and uh, there are also some other artists coming. Um, but it's mainly very people interested very in, in, in the art. I can already say now that it's very successful. We're all surprised that so many people have turned up. It has become a beautiful tradition uh, during the Easter uh, period and many people like it and artists uh, did get to know the village and, and some are, uh, did decide to, to live here and to work here. So it, it seems like uh, more and more artists are coming to the village also to, to connect with their colleagues. I've lived here for just over 20 years. Out on the campo and now in, in the house in the village. And I I'm, I'm really feel it's my home. It really is my home. And the people here they are very interested in what I do. I think Compass is quite unusual because it's so essentially Spanish but it's got a very large community of foreigners living here in the village and surrounding. A lot of them are artists as well. I start working, um, it's more in an um, experimental way. I, I have maybe only a rough idea or no idea at all. And it's just um, the, the way I feel. I start putting a, a color, and then little by little, things are developing. We are the last point in this walk. Um, they are really uh, amazed by what they see and still not tired, no? so that's very good.
I've participated in the Compton Art Walk for the past eight years on every single year. So I've been here from the beginning and this is uh, just like it is normally, very busy and you meet lots of very nice people. It's changed from the initial one which was quite small uh, but now it seems to be getting bigger and bigger uh, and we seem to have a lot more people. Um, what I heard until now is really much positive comments. People were really uh, glad that they came and, and that they never thought it would be such an event here, that they didn't expect it this big and with the music and also that they, they loved the charm of the village. This morning I was for a short moment on Facebook and of course I have a lot of friends on Facebook and I did see all these albums, photo albums of, of Competa and of the art and then with the text, oh I really loved my visit to Competa and France, just go there because it's, it's worthwhile to, to go there. This is very interesting. You see the town as well as um, uh, places that art has been uh, carried out. Yes, very interesting, a lovely event. It's wonderful. It's wonderful and the weather is perfect. Semana Santa, it is all lovely. Oh, I think it is marvellous. <laughs> <laughs> Terrific. It would be a lot better if they had little trucks to take me around. <laughs> <laughs>eight years since it's basically the first time here and I must say it becomes better and better every year and especially since we have uh, Luca here with the gallery since more than two years now the the art walk gets more and more um, new artists from all over the world and the age is getting younger and younger as well so it's a nice mixture now not only very international artists but also different ages and many different types and if people are walking around uh, they not only see the beautiful streets but they also discover the insides of the, the interiors of the houses of the authentic Spanish houses and um, every every house is unique here it's it's not like ten in a row so that's really beautiful I decided nine months ago I would participate in this event and um, all the paintings in this area um, is work from the last nine months. Yes, it's, it's a slow process because I work in oil so it takes a long time for it to dry and to build up all the layers of the oil. It's been, for me, this has been the best competent art walkabout that we've had in recent years. I didn't expect so many people and this is certainly the biggest and the most people that we've ever had through the door. What I like of course also about the art walk is that I can show my own art uh, in the gallery that, I run, that I'm running. Uh, of course many people do know my work already because I'm open every week and uh, I'm showing my art permanently here. Um, and I do get really good response and uh, with such an event of course we attract so many people and who never came up to Competa but who, who come and who do discover also the gallery and my art. Um, my art uh, I created really intuitively and um, in fact opening myself up to, to the inspiration that comes. So I start with clay or wax and um, yeah, my hands, hands are doing the work and, and opening up is doing the work. It's, it's my intuition, uh, my inner source that guide me uh, to the sculpture that comes or to the drawing that comes. So, so in, in, in my case, when I create my art, it's really um, receiving the inspiration and, and also to, uh, to shut out, out my mind and my brain and, and just let it come. And uh, yeah, what comes then? Um, the elements in my work, many people ask, like, does it come, come from, from uh, Middle America, from the Incas, or maybe from Egypt, or from Africa, or from Asia? Many different uh, continents are named and, and countries are named. Um, while I don't really connect with these countries at this moment, but I think there is a bigger source up there and I'm just <laughs> receiving it and bringing it, in, bringing it in my system and bringing it out through my hands. 
In fact, this, this gallery, it has a, a multifunctional uh, condition because, because it's, it's a gallery showing my art, but also I'm making my art here. And sometimes there are lectures uh, held here or live music events, or we do have a soup kitchen where we meet each other and connect with each other. My themes are always something about love and faith and truth, passion, hope and community. And as my Spanish teacher, he, show, he told me that Compita is actually, uh, in the meaning of Compita is bringing people together. All the roads are crossing in this little village uh, and it's a, such a beautiful village, very friendly. That is a good opportunity to, to learn a lot about different art and also have a nice time at the same time with good food and nice weather and good times. So we see every year there are coming more and more people. So also the people who came in the past, they come back and back and back. And I also heard that somebody who came from the first, from the beginning, eight years ago, nine years ago, they said, they said this time it, it, it's, it, it's the best edition. It's just uh, yeah, a complete picture, a complete, a complete offer of, of cultural uh, events and activity.